All right, guys, welcome back to Relegation Battle. Um, I know Tyrese would love to talk about Hamlets this week, but we are going to pick our team this season instead. So let me just get this ready. All right. Can you guys all see, all see my screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. We're just going to go through the 11, pick our manager of the season, young player and player of the season as well. And so this has been recorded on the 4th of May before the City uh, PSG game. It will, you guys will see it on the Monday after, so basically in a week's time. And we'll, we'll have a video on Friday and re re uh, reviewing the European action. But let's start off in gold. I feel like our three options are probably Edison, Edward Mendy and Ed Martinez. I feel like for me, it's hard to go with anyone other than who has got the most clean sheets this season. That is Edison. Ty, you're disagreeing there. Do you think Mendy is in with a shout? Um, yeah, 100%. Um, if you look at the difference he has made to our defence um, like compared to last season, if you look at Kepa, um, obviously our defence is much better now. Um, no one really expected it from Mendy. They just thought that he'd be someone that had just come in for a season, but it looks like he could just be our number one from next season as well. So, and he's got the most, I believe he's got the most clean sheets in the Champions League. He's got a high save percentage and you could argue City have better defenders than we do. So, for me, it has to be Mendy. But obviously you can't, you can't, if it's Edison, obviously I'm not going to be angry because he has the most clean sheets, like you said, but for me, it would be Mendy. Well, where will be like, see who gets out of all four of us. So, Jack and Tom, what do you guys think? I think I, know, I agree with everything Ty said, but he mentioned a stat in the Champions League, but we're doing the team of the season in the Premier League, so I just no, I just true. think that that stat is not valid at the moment. But like I said since he, he's had a good season, you know, a lot of clean sheets, but City going to win the league, you know, and like I said, Edison has the most clean sheets at the moment. So I right, got. Are you just gonna? Oh, you know, yeah, but what you just said, Jack, can I just say? Um, you said a Man City are going to win the league. That's not valid. You can't. Are we going to? I mean, we're not going to put every. No, we're not going to put like just the whole city city eleven. But I think, yeah, but especially for this I, position, it's got. I, I think. Edison. I think yeah, it does count towards Edison, sort of. Yeah, I think it counts there. for every city city star player though, because. So I think that's unfair. I think you should go off of like individual because there's some players out there like Edward Mendy who. To be fair, joined a Chelsea team where they were struggling. They they conceded a bit, and then as soon as he came in, he stopped it from happening. Um, I know you can make the argument that Chelsea do sit; they sort of have numbers at the back for. A, um, I don't know if they did that with Lampard a lot. I can't remember, but they they do have quite a few numbers at the back with Tuchel. He he likes to be solid at the back, whereas City are more expansive. Yeah, but. I mean, Ty made a valid point. I've probably got bad defenders, which I'd agree with. Um, I would say Chelsea sit back a lot, though, so he gets more protection. I don't know. I think that's a tough one because Edouard Mendy has just come into a um, new division. Um, and he's from the French League, and I, I wasn't really expecting much from him. And I've got to admit, he has, he has had a big part of Chelsea's success um, this season. Are you doing Mendy over Edison? Uh, what? Come on, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> who, was, who was the other one? Edmi Martinez. Oh, no, fuck that. He's mm -hmm. Arsenal. Um, he went... He just, I, he do like, I do like Martinez, though. I, I would like us to sign him if uh, we were to replace Lloris. Um... Wait, Ty, if I, if I choose Mendy, are you backing me for Kane later? Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, of course. <laughs> 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 Who's not going to back you for Kane, though? <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, uh, I don't know. Not going to lie, guys. I didn't think oh. I'd take this out on the goalkeepers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll go with Edison just because he's oh. got an assist. Oh, <laughs> just because he's got an assist. Oh. That is hard yeah. to, to get. You can't have more. <laughs> All right, Edison is in. Of course. All right, right back. There's always a couple. I think Cancelo is probably the main candidate for it. Um, you could say Reese James had a better start, like 
probably I guess first half, second half he's sort of rotated a bit more on the two court, I'd say, personally for me. Yeah. Juan Bissaka had a decent season, I think quite similar to last year, to be fair to him. Um did well, did pretty good defensively, but going forward, still not the greatest. Um and yeah, I think that's probably most of them. I think James Justin again had a good start to the season, but then his injury sort of yeah. you can't really put it for the team of the season. Yeah. But you know, do you guys agree that Cancel has probably been the best? Um, yeah. yeah. Um, but I think Wam is so underrated. Mm. So underrated. Um I think he's been better than last season, in my opinion, actually. I, I'd say he's been better than last season. Um, I feel like he's slowly getting better at attacking. I feel like he's building confidence. And he... I personally, for me, I would love to take him to England. But when we play against these like big teams, so if we can't ever came up against France, I would have him as one of my first players on the team sheet to literally stop Mbappe or someone like that. Um, I think he's underrated. I like Rhys James. Um, he's more balanced, so he's better attacking. But then a lot of people do say he's really good defensively, which I, I do get. He's, he's quite good defensively, like he's all-rounded, but... He has his moments, so I where seen, he just loses his concentration. A, yeah, exactly, but, yeah, but he's young. But I haven't seen yeah. a, a player like Juan Pesaka in years. He's... A, He's so old-fashioned. I think that's why he's underrated because he puts defence before attack. Because you don't really see that in a modern game. And I quite like Aaron Wamsaka's issues, in my opinion. But Cancelo has had a good season this year where he's finally showed his ability, whether it's right back or left back, to be fair. Are we all, yeah. so we're all good at Cancelo? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, centre back, obviously, you've got two positions. Um, first of all, before we actually go into it, are we all good at Ruben Diaz to go straight in there before we debate the second one? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I am. Second one's going to be interesting. Uh, second one, so there obviously are one. There are a couple of ones. So, John Stones, obviously, Diaz's partner. They had a great partnership over the over this course of the season. I think Thiago Silva deserves a shout to be in there. Oh. I think he's led the Chelsea oh, team really well. Personally, I think he's probably been up there. But like Harry Maguire, probably not as good as the last year I mentioned, but I think he deserves a shot to be in there because playing every minute like he has is not an easy thing to do, especially with United's games as well. So yeah. I think, you know, where they are on the table as well, I think he deserves a shot to be in there. I think one of the outside ones I looked at was Angelo Bona, to be honest. West Ham had a great season. He's been quite good for them as well, obviously, you know, if they get Champions League, that'd be a huge season for them, huge achievement for them. I think Ogbonne would probably been one of the better centre backs out of himself, Craig Dawson, uh, Diop, and Balboina. So, what do you guys think from that? Can I add? Can I add one to that list? Yeah, go yeah. On. I think I'm gonna add one. Can I add Wesley Fafana, please? That was the one I, I knew. It was forgetting one. That was the one I forgot. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. that's the guy I'll have in. Okay. I think yeah, he's been brilliant. But, he's so young, and he, he on the ball. He's fuck. He's brilliant. And he's so young. Mm-hmm. He's just coming into this league. I think. I think he's got to go in for me. Yeah, I think obviously the main one you're going to say is John Stones, but then that's going to be pretty much every position is going to be a City player. So you've got to look at the whole round. See, you've got a better team. So yeah, I was, I was going to say for Fana as well. Ah, uh, he's not looking good for Thiago Silva. Nah, um, I, I would say Thiago Silva. He hasn't. It's not like he's played like every game, do you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. he has had his injuries and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'd go for Fana as well, to be fair. He's been brilliant. All right. I'm happy to go for Fana. So I think what comes at the, you know, I can't remember which game it was. It might have been the City one when not when they won, but when they actually lost. But he was just so comfortable on the ball and playing out from the back at such a young age as well. It's just such a good point to have. And he's had a great first season in the Prem, I think. Left back, um, I think. Luke Shaw's up there. Uh, ben Chilwell. Okay. I would make a case for Tini, but he's just been injured too often, in my opinion. Other than that, um, you know, I don't think there's any other real good candidates for, throughout the season who've performed as well as probably those two have. I mean, you got, I say, uh, I, mean, I don't think, but you, I think you got to give Cresswell a shout. I think he's been excellent for West Ham. Yeah. I think he's gone under the radar a lot. 
just because he's not a big name. He's not mm. Antonio. He's not the main. But it, I think he's had a decent season as well. Yeah, I think that's. I think yeah, it's fair to put him in that shout. But I think for me it is Luke Shaw, Shaw because of how much he surprised yeah. me. Because you know I'm not a fan of Luke Shaw. Well, I wasn't a fan of Luke Shaw before the season started, the last few seasons. But this season he's improved on his game a lot. I think his crossing and passing. I think Jack Lugrimi has been a, you know, a very important thing to United attack this season and defensively yeah. he's been quite good as well. And still, I think it's still he can still improve, but he would be one of my picks for the Euros. And I think Ben Chill was, you know, I'm a big fan of him. I wouldn't mind seeing either of them start, to be honest, if South could pick one of them. I think I'd be happy with both. But I think I'll just edge short for team the season. But what do you guys think? Yeah, that's what I'm going to go for. Yeah, I agree. Um, Chill had that massive dip during, like, December when it was um, mm. Lampard's last few games. And then, obviously, he couldn't get into the team under two at the start either. So, yeah, you've got to go Luke Shaw, really. He's been the most Chilwell consistent. had a very good start. To the season, yeah, and he died off, and then now, now, now he's picking it up again. But obviously, yeah. it's just inconsistent. So you has got to go Luke Shaw. Yeah, so midfield, it's obviously you've got your bigger names. You've got the Brunos, who's done well again. De Bruyne, you know, you had an injury like spell. He's still done well. Gundogan, brilliant. Like when De Bruyne was injured, he came up with the goals. I think he's City's top scorer midfield this season as well. Unsurprisingly, from those two months. You know, you've got Foden is obviously in with a shout. Uh, Grealish and Madison, if you want to put him in that yeah. position. Kante, I think, deserves a shout because he's just been... I think he, he received criticism at the start of the season, which I wasn't a fan of, but because he was just doing his thing. And, you know, Undertaker has got even better, which I think I'm happy for him with that. Um, Mason Mount, yes, I, I was, yeah. was, was going to say him. I think uh, Hoiberg, for how he started the season, I think you can't really forget what he did there. Yeah, and I mean it's probably loads throughout the season. To be fair, you know. Well, for, wait, Thomas, what formation were you using? Four three three. Four three three. I think you know Thomas Suchek. He's obviously got a shout in there as well because he's been yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I was going to say that. Mm. So you know, it's not an easy position right now, but if it you got three spots. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's just the easy formation to use. But yeah, who would be the best midfielder this season for you guys? Bruno. I would agree with that. Yeah. 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 Love that enthusiasm, enthusiasm from Tiger. Okay, we'll go Bruno first. If he wants to play. Hey, um, do you say it, Ty? Can I can I just say it like I what like I don't know where we're putting uh, Jack Grealish has to be in this team. I know he's been injured, but when he plays, I mean he's literally got four uh, well, technically, he's third on the assist because Bruno and De Bruyne are level at the moment. And he's fourth, and he's been injured for ages. When he, he was playing, he was unreal. Are we treating him um, as a left winger, or are we using him as a midfielder? I don't, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. Are we? Or, I would, then, when I see If he goes left wing, that means Son doesn't get in. That's what I'm saying. And I think Son has to be in because of what him and Kane were doing. Personally, when I see Villa play... Grid should more drifts out on the left. He does come through the middle, but he's he he starts is on the left. So I would say he's a left. But he's not gonna get in the team then. Oh I mean that there's a lot of good players I won't get obviously, like the man midfielders you just named. I'll say we yes. don't pin De Bruyne. Oh. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, no, no. <laughs> 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 so it's literally it's one one midfielder spot up for grabs. You got yeah. Suchet, Wait, should we, Mal, should we go Grealish. all attacking? Let's go all attacking. I mean, yeah. we can go all attacking if you want to. There's no rules. Yeah, are we putting in a hold midfielder? Because if we are, we can. But if we're going all attacking, I want Grealish in that centre mid. I mean, but you can't just. It's got to be whoever whoever you think had a more impactful. Yeah, mm. Grealish. I mean, if you impact, the amount of big goals and just goals that Suchek's come up with is unbelievable. Yeah. That's the thing. Uh, but obviously, what, at the same fifth, time... Three points behind. You see, we see Villa without Grealish and it's a completely different team. For me, in yeah. that centre mid spot, it has to be either Grealish or Foden for me. You see, here's the thing for me. Yeah, we're going still to come give to... Mount a shout Yeah, well. we're going to come to you later. That's the yeah, thing. Man. For me, yeah. young player of the year, I think Mason Mount's got a really good shout for me, in my opinion, for the season he's had. That's what... So that means he's got to go in? In my opinion, I would put in Mount here. 
That's why Joel's the host. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you, oh, you guys are agree that should go in. I mean, you know, that goal he scored against Chelsea, that's the <laughs> goal of the season, bro. Oh, mate. Oh, don't, what, don't remind what me what of that game. Stats? Mount. Yeah, he's not a stats guy. I think it's six yeah, he's goals, guy, five man. assists. Do you know how many yeah, chances not... this guy's created for guys like Werner and then they just bottled it, man? It's just uh... Yeah, I get Bola. that, but then he's an attacking midfielder. You're 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 looked on for stats. Yeah. Is he an attacking midfielder or is he box to box? Oh yeah, he's more box to box, in my opinion. Yeah, so what are you talking but about? They no, they play a fucking five three five two and he doesn't get in the midfielder, so he plays as a left wing or a right wing as an inside he's forward, got... so he's an attacker. It depends. He's it got depends sometimes. Six goals, five assists. If if your main if your main midfielder is a fit, he plays um Kante and Kovacic, and Mount plays as a wide and inside forward, which means an attacker. Sometimes, sometimes it changes. Sometimes depends on the game. That's what I'm saying. Depends Green on injuries. Oh, I don't know, man. Like if you look at it, yeah, how many young players? Yeah, like Mount's already. How many young players actually get into a Chelsea team? Like he's the first one to like really, like make his mark since like oh, I don't know, bloody. John Terry or someone like it's it's been so long, yeah. And like when he's not in the team, we look very we look very bad, very bad. Like yeah, um, and like same with Grealish and Villa. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, what are Grealish stats? Yeah. Grealish Six goals, ten yeah. yeah, but the guy Grealish mainly plays left wing though. This is this is the thing. And he's he carries all over the Villa. Place. Exactly, Villa. Is I wouldn't shit, be against. I wouldn't. They're, they're I wouldn't be shit. against Grealish. I'm just saying, isn't it? But. But Greenish, he's, mainly... he, he's been carrying him for two years. He's got more help this year because they brought in a bit more quality. But he still, he's ridiculous. He's like the best player out of the, the top six teams, without a doubt. And he'd get into every single one of them top six teams without fail. He'd walk into Man City's team. And that's not easy. So I think it's, I, I would go Greenish. All right, I'm and saying Mount, injured. Tom saying I'm Grealish, saying J- Jack and Ty is down to you guys. I'm saying, I'm taking Mount, of course. I mean, Jack, I'm, just... I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Mount. God, so you can't. just you went see, against it, say, and I mean, you said Mount. I'm gonna say Mount because although Grealish has a very good season since, I think the turn of the year he hasn't been as good. But Mount's been consistent for the I mean, whole. I mean, the guy's been injured, the whole, all right. What well, January was injured. He's injured for most of the rest of the season. He's been he injured, injured like ages. March. Oh, I have not in there. I'm talking about January, February. <laughs> We're gonna lose now without Grealish. Well done. <laughs> no, listen. I don't think we will. I think this is looking good. So We're not far. going into a tournament, Tom. Yeah, you know this is just. I don't know what this is for, but let's go to the front three now. Right winger. Um. Salah for me, I can't I think go. Just yeah, I think it's just Salah, you know. You know yeah, in no, this he, window for season, he's... About... I think the whole yeah, front three picks front itself. Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Son, Kane, Salah. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy in to go there. In my opinion. I, I, honestly, oh, I think the same. What do you think? There's only, I think, I think, I do think Son, Kane, Salah, but I think Son has the biggest question mark over them. Yeah. So I you still see, put... Striker definitely Kane. I think right mm. winger definitely Salah. But if you go left wing, you say Son, but you're not 100 percent certain. Yeah. I don't oh, think it's as true. clear cut. I think Rashford oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. does have a shout. Guy's got 16 goals, one assist, and Salah's got 20 goals, three assists. So yeah, I don't know where because, you're getting your question mark. From. Son, yeah, this this is where stats can also be manipulated. That oh, he had he did score for three months. Yeah, yeah. He Salah's, for three Salah's done an assist. His game is finishing. Salah didn't score for ages. Salah didn't. Oh, bro, he wasn't scoring for a while as well. There's no one else in the right wing spot who would put over him. Callum Hudson the doy. I don't want to slack over that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <he's finished. laughs> uh, William's been down better than him this year, bro. Nah, 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 nah. Listen, nah, William, nah, this mate, he's been doing bits. Nah, nah. Well played. I say, I say, we put uh, Grealish right wing. I have to disagree with Albus, I know. Oh, <laughs> we don't want no Liverpool players in this team. Who's been playing right wing for City this season? 
Morris. 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 Oh, well, yes, Foden. Foden played. Foden played on the right sometimes. Yeah, Foden. 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 Nah, Foden would, more on the left. I would still put Salah above time. him. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Are, are we doing it? I know we. I know you got. You can't just put a fucking goalkeeper and centre back. But are we doing it position wise? Because we didn't have a holding midfielder. He's technically a winger. So Foden could go there. He's got. He's left footed. Foden has played on the right wing, like right? he has played there, but I, I like even if you put that in, I still think Salah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's had a good I season. I personally have Salah. I personally have Salah. Salah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, he's the only Liverpool player that's really had a good season. Really. Yeah. I mean, I think he just scores. Yeah. I mean, I think Fabinho done well as well, but you know he's had to yeah, leave positions. That's the thing. Yeah. And then, like he had that injury as well. That's the thing for him. What about Jay Lings? We didn't mention Jay Lings. I mean, he was. Again, because it's not been a whole. Yeah, he did play yeah, for January. Been, uh, so. Second year. Yeah, so, so I think exactly. Salah, Kane, Son. So I guess the three options would be Son, Rashford, or Grealish. You want to put him in there? And, and I think oh, I would Son's pick, going in. I would pick Son's Son. Going in. Probably as a three, yeah. Son is going in. Fucking Rashford. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. He's got for three months, but you think he's sick? Okay. Well, yeah. I think Rash, my bad, Peter. Oh. My bad, my bad, my bad. He, he, Bobby, he's playing in a team that don't fucking attack for like half a season, so. All right, that is yeah, our starting up. 11. You don't attack either. Listen, yeah. Like, we know Tottenham is shit. We don't need to acquire that every day. Come on, guys. Come on. But let's move on to manager of the season now. Obviously, Pep winning the, winning the league is always going to be a big boost for him. Um, I think David Moyes, even if he gets the Europa League, I think that's still a great yeah, achievement for West shot. Ham. I think Tuchel, I don't think he could put him in, even though he's coming and done well. He's done the whole season, so he can't really put him in that. You know, uh, other than that, Rogers again, always has a shout there with Leicester being where they are on the table. And... Oli. 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 Nah, Oli. Nah, 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 he deserves nah, a shout. Nah, nah. He deserves a shout. Nah, he's not here. He deserves a shout. We're second in the league but and listen, he's the second best team. All this nil nils. All this nil nils, you know, I don't yeah, know, man. We don't, we don't have the second best squad in the league, but we're second. He's overachieving, so he's got to get a shout. All right. I, I mean, we. Oli as well. We, oh, had, we had you up like 6T, bro. Where are you? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Pipe down, pipe down. I'm not saying I I don't he shouldn't win it, but I'm just saying you gotta give him a shout. Right, yeah, we'll oh, yeah. He's had a better yeah, season than Brendan Shout, shout, shout. What about Tucho? What about Tucho? Look at the yeah, running. You mentioned him. You already mentioned, you mentioned him. him. You fucking not listening. What, what about Arta? Oh, no. <laughs> listen, ha, listen, talk, chat to me when you're in the semi final, innit? <laughs> Are you even gonna get to that final? Oh. Listen, we didn't get knocked out by fucking Zadanima Zadanima. Oh, really. Relax, you're, pipe down. You're you getting knocked out by final. Unai Emery, man. Listen, I'd rather get knocked yeah. out by him than fucking Zagreb. You're gonna have no Europe next year. They'll right. have the conference. Yeah, no, no they don't have the conference. That... Don't worry about that. Yeah, that's actually no, happening, we'll... but only one team. We'll get Europa League. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Ryan Mason, what a manager. I don't want it, but... but okay, let's let's bring it back to the topic. Manager of the season, who are you guys going for? Pep. Moyes. Tom? I love it. Is this actually a question? Um, yeah. It's actually Pep. He's he nearly done the quadruple. Um, oh, I am yeah. Pep as well. Even though he's really? just Premier League again. Time. I think... Oh, nah, David Moyes gets a massive shout, but yeah, but I think, I think when you win the Premier League, you just you get that. Yeah, you manage a team. Yeah, so I yeah, think, well, I I'm only saying Moyes because like they nearly got relegated last season, and then obviously this season the improvement's been massive, and obviously at the start of the season there was like loads of like uproar and stuff at West Ham, so that's yeah. the reason why I said Moyes really. Yeah, no, he's had a brilliant season, and I'll probably give him this like he would be a close second. But yeah. I just think Pep's Bielsa top. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> oh <my> God, <laughs> I actually think that's a that's a mention. Why why is he not getting a mention? No, that's not a mention. 
I want nah, to really mention. I think Leeds not in their first season potentially yeah. getting top off the table is obviously a, a good season. And for a new doing the best team. football there is other than City, so. I don't, I don't think they're the best football. They're the best football. It's high intensity, so but not good. Nah, they, 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 they <laughs> yeah, take good football. Super. It's dumb football. I wouldn't say it's the, I wouldn't say it's the second best yeah, football. They're just, just high no, no, no. around. No, I'm joking, but I think he deserves a mention. He's got a very short squad, not that much quality yet. First season back in the league, attack like anything, and they're they're like mid table with ease. So I think they deserve a mention. I mean, if you ask me, what team other than your team would you watch a game of football? Of, I'd say Man City or Leeds because you know you're going to be entertained so I don't think he deserves a mention I watch Sheffield United because you're guaranteed someone's going to get boosted in that so <laughs> personally I think you have to go with them but okay so that's the team Pep's the manager player of the season I all agree that it's Harry Kane yes yes Oh, is he, I think you, Bru- oh, this Bruno guy. Let me, it in the shout. Bruno's, let, let, me, most think. let me think. Bruno's done a while again, obviously. Well, what has it, like, it done for him? Oh, see what, what I mean, mean Jack? Joe? He's almost got Dez in that football. <laughs> he secured Dez in that football, Jack. No what, what more do you want from him? Uh, Kane. Um, I mean, tell yeah. me who else. Harry Kane. Yeah, yeah I'll give it to Kane. There you go, see? Oh, sorry. No, it's just hacked, bro. Jack's just figuring out how to get Bruno involved in this. <laughs> no, I'm not even talking about Bruno. Well, who else would it be if it ain't Bruno then? If, so if his form continued, I would have actually given it to um Gundogan. But... No, we'll, we'll, give him, we'll give him a pity point, Kane. We'll give pity Kane. <laughs> oh, my point. God. How's Gundogan not in the team? Take Mount out now. Because Gunnigan's only been good since like January. He did well January, nah. February, and he slowed down again. My, he was yeah, he's got, he's got twelve goals. Dipped. Yeah, in January, January February. February. The, season, the season isn't two I months. That. Nah, the season yeah. isn't two months. Twelve yeah. goals. I've never know. Gunnigan's only ever got like fucking five in two months. That's it's not enough. Season is like nine, eight. Nah, we don't want Chelsea players in. Get them out. All right, that's team. So I'm a Shirley. I think Mason Mount's personally my young player of the year. I think obviously Froden's in the shot. I think Saka is personally in the shot as well because he's doing well in a nah. shit team. Um, you know, it goes up to twenty. Is it 23 24, or twenty three or twenty four? I think twenty four when the season starts, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, I think Mount's just been a great player. I think even when Chelsea are doing poor on the Lampard, he was still there and he was still doing well. And I think Rashford. Yeah, I think Rashford. No, he's not in it now. Did you say yeah. young? Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's 23. But I remember when Kenya kept winning it because... Yeah, I know. He was just 20. <laughs> like, the season. Yeah. yeah, I think um, that would be my where, one. Where, I think Rashford is a good shot as well. But what about you guys? I think yeah. Foden's in there as well. Yeah, yeah Foden's um, in there. I think Foden. Yeah. I mean, what are his stats? Oh, what about, why are you talking about stats again? I just want to know. Seven. He's done seven. Seven what? Goals. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Five. Five. In 25 games. Goal figures got. And he's tearing up the Champions League for him. We won't mention that. Not, really. not, not in the Premier League this season, you don't. <laughs> So if Rich Green Chav is leading Europa League, I'm going to fucking get Pepe in this team, bro. <laughs> the way he was oh, through his fucking God. Ukrainian defenders. Oh, yeah, you're going to get Rashford in there. The third, top, top, yeah. third top goal scorer in the, Premier League, uh, in the Champions League and then he played in the group stage. Exactly. But, you know, Foden, Mount, okay, Jack Tom, what do you guys... Th- no, Jack Tom, say Jack Ty, what do you guys think? Jack, say Mount. Foden, please. Mount. Jack, make it interesting. Fuck me. Oh, Foden's um, playing players going... like fucking Sterling, De Bruyne, and all them. Not yet. Mount's playing. Yeah, yeah. Mount, M- M- Mount's, Mount's playing, playing with fucking Havertz. Havertz. Hold on, hold on. Havertz, he spent two hundred million on your tank, so you can't even use that point. He's playing. He's no, no, no. Not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. oh, that's not do that. Let's not do that. Timo in. <laughs> that is oh. a bit of a. You know. He's playing with. Nah, man. Fifty million pound players, Mason. Right? <laughs> He's got no excuses. <laughs> He's the true. best holding midfielder. 
He don't need to defend. He can attack all he wants. You know, he gets five goals. Allow it. He's playing with King Havertz. Don't, don't, don't get me started. No, I mean, seriously, with, Jack, who are you picking? Timo, if you, I'm a, I'm a pick. I'm picking, I'm picking Mount. I mean, you pick Saka as well if you want, Jack. Saka's the lowest no. as well, you know. Why I is think, he even I in the list? Because he's a good young player. Nah, but why, why didn't you mention Mason Greenwood then? Well, I mentioned a couple. You can mention him if you want. Mm-hmm. Mason Greenwood, but I'm not choosing him. I think... Oh you give it to Dean Henderson. If you want to, Jack. Holy shit. He's had a decent... Uh, Actually, uh, yeah, give yeah, it go to... on. Give it to Henderson. Eh? I'll give it to um, Rashford. Fair enough, then. Oh, my guys. I think that yeah. is fair, Rashford. He's a bit like Mount, but I think he's sort of... Not, ca- not carry the team. He's picked more of a leadership on the United team. <laughs> and played a lot of minutes for them, but... <laughs> that sort of been Mount gets it, because he did get two of the votes. Um... Other than that, um, I know that's having everything picked. Goal of the season, um, I think Jay said, Jay said the other. I think maybe yesterday that Welbeck goal the other day just has a shout. Um, <laughs> well, Harry Kane. Harry Kane. Which one? Crystal Harry Palace. Kane. Oh, what a one. Yeah, that was yeah, a good yeah, one. Was I can't even remember. Um, when he got played it back to him, he's like fucking bare far around. He just whips it top. Oh in. yeah. What about Tangai? Abbott's. What, was Sheffield it? United? <laughs> yeah. No. That was a good United. goal, but... Nah, good Lamella. Goal, but it's not been Lamella against Arsenal. Yeah. All the season. Bruv. <laughs> Maybe it hasn't <laughs> happened yet. He reboned it through, like, two players. Bottom corner. Maybe goal of the season hasn't happened yet. Maybe. Uh, I, feel, I, mean, listen, I think it's Lamella. I think Jack was Chelsea. You don't debate what you want. That's my one. Yeah, that's a brilliant what? free kick. Brilliant free um, kick. Top bins, you know, unstoppable. Yeah. Oh, Are we just picking I'm, players from I'm going to go Harry Kane. <laughs> I'm going to go Harry Kane. Nah, yeah. It's, mine's fuck, actually Lamella. Fuck yeah, I'm going Harry Kane just to make sure we win then. Yeah, <laughs> my, mine's Lamella. Oh. They're a bonner. Oh, okay, we'll go. Sorry, should I pick Lamella? <laughs> <laughs> actually, you're fine. You won anyway. Well, Ty, I'll let you decide which one you're going with and I'll go with the other one. <sighs> Harry Kane. Yeah, I'll go Lamella. Right, King Lamella can... <laughs> Both get that. I'm sure. That can no, I think I think Kane will take it because you say we touch off his head, touch off his hair. So I think Kane's gonna take oh, it. Yeah, that was a good one. That was fuck me. Hey, listen, you need your skills what they can get right now. Yeah. Kane's goal, Kane's goal, best of the season. I didn't get this piece of great goals. He's so trying to think. Not only any like, acrobatic ones I could think of in terms of bicycle kicks this season. No. Harry Kane, Crystal Palace. No. You want about the one where the keeper fucked it? No, it's like no. But, uh, he just like whips it from the right hand side of the box, but like obviously outside. When the you box. want a four nil, four one or five nil, I don't know. Four one. Four yeah. one. Four one. Oh yeah. I don't know. I'm sure. <laughs> You're just making Tottenham fan <laughs> to like uh, like right. remember it. But this season's been a void for me. All right, leave me alone. Did he say that sure, last you know year as well? You know what that feels like, Joel. Yeah, well, Joel Europe you know what League semi final, like, mate. Where is Bears and their football oh legends? Oh my god. Yeah, but is that enough for you? How long have also been in Europa League? Oh, oh, that was a banger. I'm not going to lie. No. Three still seasons won missing. Everyone still won, won it. We, told, oh, we, we spoke about this last time. We, everyone wants Wait, Bears and their football. You do know. All right. No, serious. All serious now, yeah. I know you're in the Europa League so far. Whether you get to the final or not, I don't know. You you still are going backwards in the Premier League though. Yeah. Right. Do you but we, still I, believe I, in I did say I expected that. I did say the start of the season I expected that. I expected us well, to, to go be... backwards. No, I, I didn't think we but I think we're the same as last season, but I didn't expect did not say like how many months we have to be patient and patience means the whole season. Yeah. Not but just... how long because yeah, but you nothing's want to changed. See small bits of pro yeah. What do you mean nothing's changed? We've got out the shit players. And then yeah, that's you, how you start. You, you get out the shit players. You bring in yeah, your new football. This is the thing. You bring in your new football gonna, players. You have your owners. Then, your board. You brought in gonna, They're not going to do what what needs to be done. Listen, that or if we sell, then that's not going to be a problem. And then, and then the owners now have to spend. They can't like choose not to now. So do they? you signed party. 
you signed fucking Ryan, Matt yeah. Ryan. And we played, Ed, we played Edgar, better with Partey. We played better with Partey because he was injured during the whole time we were on that massive like winning streak. We clearly played better oh, with him. Right. And then you got Odegaard. Gabriel and you, Gabriel. you've still gone backwards. Okay, well, two, three signings aren't going to change anything, are they? They should make an improvement. They should. Okay, so I just tell you, we don't play better with Partey and Gabriel. I don't, no, I don't no, watch you Arsenal. Probably, not going you probably do, but so is there our improvement then? If when the players we sign play, we play better. I'm saying it from the manager's point of view. Like, don't you think with the players you've got, the manager could be doing better? Like, is this? Well, the manager about, can't finish the bad chances, can he? Yeah, but I mean, you were gassing him up to be something like better than Kane a couple of years ago, so you can't really say that. I mean, well, you I know mean, he's, he's got come in and he's got so. golden boots and goals, so. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you know he's got it in him. So I don't think that's fair to say that. Like, yeah, I think it is fair to say because we know he's got it in him. So if he misses chances, then you know, it's not just he chances. Does that miss he misses a lot of chances, but yeah, no, he yeah he does. But so you know, the manager's job to get the create, team to create chances is the striker's job to finish them. Do so you still think Arteta's the man for the job? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you look at it. Our biggest problem before is the form against Big Six. Look how much that's improved. Has it? Since he's come in, we've beaten City multiple times, Liverpool multiple times, United multiple times. We've been Chelsea in the FA Cup final and in the league. Spurs we've beaten as well. You beat, so, yeah, listen, so you beat you Lampard, all right. I mean, just, just, you know. Are you lower gassing him up? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah how, how so you done a tweet the other day about prime Frank or Lampard ball right. or something like that. Let's end <laughs> yeah. this uh, because yeah, that's obviously that's you uh, City vs PSG is about to start any second and I think we won't be watching that. So um, that's our team of the season. Pep's manager, Kayden and Mount, uh, player of the year and young player of the year respectively and Kayden and Southern goal of the season from us. Um, that's all from us. We'll be back on Friday to review the Champions League and New York semi-finals. Obviously, probably one of our teams at least will be in the finals, probably United. But yeah, um, have a nice. No. Before I think it's time to talk. I think it's time we. Start.